My name is Sepi Somahika, the sushi guy. I'm the founder and owner of Jonito Sushi, which is at Middleland Zone 10 in Soweto. It's a stall inside the Sofen pub and restaurant. So how I learned to make sushi, it was through a chef that had um, recruited me to start a business with him. And through the journey of going to social markets and making sushi, I had to learn through him because I was more of a salesperson. I was actually selling the sushi, the product, the finished product. And so he said, um, it's best that I learn because one day you won't be around. And when he's not around, it, it will mean that I have to take over, or one of us, because there was uh, quite a number of us in the business at the time we were starting. Okay, so at the time when we approached this whole thing, um, obviously they were, the, 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 the market was quite receptive of us, considering the fact that there are some of the people that wanted to have sushi, but it was too far from them. So for the mere fact that we are here and we are, we were the only sushi bar around Soweto that was operative, um, it made it easier for them. And so they, they supported. They, they, they were very appreciative that we brought it to them at long last. We have to lay the rice on the seaweed. Some more rice there. One thing that we're gonna add again, it's sesame seeds. So because we have already sliced my salmon thin, there it is. I can just slice it up and add it to your sandwich. Get a softer air and not too hard, not too soft. You close it up. I'm just gonna wrap my rice, shape it nicely there. So there we go. You have your ingredients showing in there and your rice is nicely shaped. Quite a lot of people, obviously, they've, they've, they've come across the misconception that sushi is all about raw fish. So I wanted to show them that sushi is not necessarily raw fish, but it's, it's, it's more of uh, the sushi rice than the raw fish itself. Bean curd rolls. A bean curd is made out of uh, tofu and soy, soy bean flour and so on. So we're just gonna cut some of it there into pieces. So there's two different ways of making a bean curd, right? You can either have salmon or you will have no fish at all, right? No fish at all for people who are allergic to seafood and people who are allergic to fish. So you can just add some elbow to it like that. And then we'll add some avalanche sauce over it. And there we have it. Uh, with our sushi bar, um, we have three different types of sushi. Um, the first one is sushi with no fish, it is built on cucumber and avo. The second one is um, the normal traditional sushi, which is uh, uh, made out of salmon, crab stick, avo, and so on. Right? And then the last one that we have is called tempura fried sushi. That's your normal sushi coated with tempura, breadcrumbs, then it's deep fried. Coating with tempura better, and then after that, I'm just gonna dip it in the breadcrumbs, and then after that, into the deep fryer. Then we're just gonna fry it for like five minutes. That's our tempura fried sushi. Okay, on an average day, I just come through. Maybe I'd just maybe watch a, a podcast just to loosen up my mind a bit. And um, from then onwards, it's just, um, cleaning the surfaces. And then from then on, we, 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 we keep the ball rolling. We keep the ball rolling. Hi, good afternoon, this is Jonito Sushi. Okay, what is it that you'd like to order? Okay, 12 pieces, salmon and crab steak. So after all of that, what we're gonna do is um, enigiri. So enigiri consists of just rice and salmon. We're just gonna take some bit of rice there and then we're gonna shape it in, in a, into a dough, and then that's what it looks like. Obviously, on the on the other side it's flat, right? And then on the other end it it has a dome shape. So we're gonna add a bit of evo, and then after that we're gonna slice a bit of salmon. Yeah, enigiri doesn't have 
seaweed in it. It just has rice, apple, and salmon. Sometimes it has rice and salmon on its own, depending on what the, 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 the customer may want. Just gonna add Japanese mayo on top. Caviar. So there we go. So when it comes to plating, you have to make sure that whatever that you're gonna put on your plate and however, how, however you're gonna place your plate or in the customer's eyes, it has to look appealing. It has to make, you have to make sure that when the customer looks at that sushi or looks at that plate, they already enjoyed it in their mind. So that whenever they have to dig in, then they won't have to have a problem with, um, um, with the taste or whatsoever. They have to first eat it with their eyes. That's how, how, how important presentation is. I mean, if it doesn't look nice to their eyes, if it doesn't look nice to their eyes, chances are they're not even going to be willing to try it out. What makes my sushi unique is that, yeah, it's made out of love. I won't lie, it's made out of love simply because um, whenever I make that sushi, I think about the person who's gonna have it, number one. Number two, obviously I consider the fact that this person is ordering sushi, it might be their first time. So you must remember that whatever that I do, I have to impress that person, I have to make sure that I retain that customer for good. See, at this present moment, I would say my, my short-term goal would be, or rather my, my short-term objective would be to have, to one day have a sushi bar of my own, a standalone sushi bar, in, in, in it's just somewhere in, 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 in the city or just around so way to, where people can easily access me. And obviously have a chain of, of, of those sushi bar across the country in the near future. And then the ultimate goal, which is the final now, whereby I say now I've made it in life, is to just have a sushi bar in the middle of Japan, just one day. Yeah, so just after dealing with the continent, then definitely the first place that I'm gonna go look for space in is Japan, yep.